Hello, I am Jan Oberg, director of the independent think tank for peace, the Transnational Foundation for Peace and Future Research in Lund, Sweden. I've been asked to comment on the decision of the Swedish public prosecutor today of closing down the Nord Stream investigation. And I have four small points. <clears throat> Point one, the destruction of Nord Stream is extremely important. It's unique and it holds very dire consequences for the European economy in the future. So the sooner we could find out who, and it could be certified, documented who did it, the better it would be also from an international uh, point, the point of view of international law, because somebody must be held accountable for such a unique destruction with such consequences. Point two, Sweden is about to become a member of NATO, very close to as far as we can see. And it has also recently concluded bilateral agreements with the United States about 17 base facilities all over the Swedish territory, um, by the way, where the jurisdiction will be American and not Swedish. Now, I can imagine that with that um, binding yourself to it and submissively uploading your country to the American and their empire and implicitly NATO, there's no doubt that it is in Swedish political interest to avoid conflicts, um, some kind of, you know, antagonizing Washington at this point. Uh, and I'm saying this because I believe until something else has been shown that this was done by the United States or the United States was behind it. Also because both President Biden and Assistant Secretary of State uh, Victoria Nuland clearly are on record having said at press conferences that the US will destroy Nord Stream. That's a quite a strong argument uh, or documentation and so is Seymour Hersh's and Ola Tenando's analysis of what happened. I believe more in that theory and therefore I see a logic from the Swedish official point of view not to have any troubles with the US and pointing out that they could have done it. Third, the prosecutor's only argument for doing this is that Sweden does not have a jurisdiction over this area. Um, I'm not a lawyer, I can't judge whether that is true or not, but Nord Stream runs through the um, exclusive economic zone E set by uh, of Sweden and Sweden can, according to legal expertise in Sweden, claim jurisdiction over this area. Now, I must also ask, did they not know that one and a half year ago that they didn't have jurisdiction or didn't want jurisdiction? Or secondly, did they find something that pointed in the direction of the United States in such a way that it, the argument of jurisdiction came up as a handy, uh, a handy argument uh, after one and a half years to get out of the whole thing. Finally, had they found, and that's the fourth point, had they found traces of Russia, I think they would not have argued for jurisdiction and that we would have seen very interesting headlines all over the Western media or at least in the Swedish Nordic media. So all in all, this is again, in my view, a way for politics, geopolitical interest and cynicism to rule over truth and empirical evidence. And that, of course, goes also for the media who ask no critical questions about these things, uh, which they should do because it's a very efficient, enigmatic decision Sweden hereby has made. Thank you very much.